it's been so special. It has been so, so special law of attraction. I'm grateful for that which I have and I'm grateful for that which is coming. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin if you're new here and if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today in this video. I'm super excited to be sharing this with you. I wanted to film this video I would say easily for the last month and I've been putting it off, but here we are, super not set up. The camera right now is literally on top of a candle. It's the middle of the day on a Tuesday and I'm like, I feel ready and excited and pumped up to share this with you. So over the last, I would say four months, I have been meditating every single day. I have made it part of my morning routine where as soon as I get up, I go downstairs, I light incense, I turn on coffee and then I pull out my meditation cushion and I sit for 10 minutes. Throw a timer on my phone, see what happens. Now I should backtrack just a little bit in saying that I have gone through ebbs and flows with meditating. I've gone through the Vipassana meditation course where it was 10 days of silence and you're meditating for 13, 14 hours a day. I've gone through hour long, two hour long daily meditations at home, but with strong determination, uh, kind of a different intention and a greater why. You know, as humans, we're more inclined to do things when we have a strong why. And for me, I was just looking for more peace in my day. Bottom line. And for me, I was just looking for more peace in my day. Bottom line, looking for a greater sense of control and bringing more calm and clear energy into my life. So I decided I'm going to meditate. What's well, 10 minutes a day? I know that we're all saying how busy we are and this glorification of being busy and we don't have the time, but 10 minutes, you guys, and it's changed my life. I'm not even exaggerating. I'm like not painting a more beautiful picture than it has been, but truly showing up to my meditation cushion every single day over the last couple of months has changed my life. This open line of communication that I'm creating for myself, with myself, it's just been game changing. It has made me a better individual. Well, it has connected me to my true nature in a way that I had never been steadily exposed to. It's affected the way that I'm teaching my yoga classes and the way that I'm delivering language and the way that I'm sequencing and the way that I'm being a partner to Kevin in the way that I'm showing up for my family in the way that I've been able to prioritize my life and really understand what work-life balance is. And all of this is coming to the forefront of my mind by showing up to my meditation cushion every day and tuning in, slowing down 10 minutes a day. 10 minutes and that has affected me dramatically and so much for the better. Not to say that it's been easy. There are absolutely days where there is severe resistance and I think I would much rather lay in bed. I would much rather get 10 more minutes of sleep but there has not been one day and four months, right? In the grand scheme of things, it's nothing. It's a drop in the bucket, but it's better than nothing. And I'm super proud of myself. And I share this with you because it has made such a big impact in my every single day. My hope is it inspires you to either come back to your meditation practice or start one. And there's no better time than now, ultimately. As I've said, it's not easy. It's not always easy, but you do become aware of your mind states. I believe it's according to Buddhism that there are 52 mind states and that's a ton. That's so many to think about and contemplate that we go through in this human experience. Developing awareness on those days of when the mind is erratic and you're thinking about this and that and the habitual thought patterns and the to-do lists and all the things, you're just becoming aware of it. There are certain days where, you know, the 10 minutes wraps up and it goes like this. It's like a blink of an eye, it's done. And then there are other days when I show up and my thoughts are just so incredibly erratic. Not that it's better or worse, but it's developing this relationship, this awareness of mind states. When I give my mind the freedom to just wander, where does it actually go? And what is my mind saying? And is it helpful to my present moment? Or is it hindering to my present moment? Is there truth in that habitual thought? Nine times out of 10, there's not. But it's really cool becoming aware of that and developing this relationship and how certain days, it's pretty wild up there. <laughs> like it's pretty gnarly up there. Just developing an awareness for that has really shaped how I'm approaching my life. And then the other side of that spectrum, there are days that you show up and you meditate and 
it's like easy breezy. You're just, you're cruising down the meditation river, right? And it's so easy and calm and mellow. But at the end of it, at the end of the 10 minutes, on weekends I do 15 because I give myself that little extra five. It's just been amazing. And it's, it's really been marvelous to show up in my life and show up to my responsibilities and my classes and my people in a way that I know I'm being authentic to me. I've had this greater sense of who I am and who I want to show up as in the world. And the meditation practice has just given me a greater sense of clarity. So I know that might sound like I'm exaggerating and wow, it's just 10 minutes, but really it's been fantastic. And I hope that you clicking on this video and watching this video um, inspires you to just take the time to sit and slow down and close your eyes and tune in to what's happening in your heart and in your mind. And I hope that you find peace in your present moment. I hope that you are able to incorporate meditation into your everyday life because it has truly made a massive impact for me. It has really given me the power to shape my day and step into my day in a way that I know I'm calm, I'm relaxed, and I'm confident. It's made such a big difference for me and I feel like I would be doing a disservice not to share that with you because it's not something you have to spend any money on, you don't have to run to the store and buy anything. You literally sit down in a way that you can lengthen your spine and open your heart and close your eyes. Yeah, if there's any questions, comments, feedback, use me as a resource. I did just record a meditation video for 10 minutes of focusing on your breath. So very simple skill. A lot of days, more often than not, that's the skill that I'm using. Very easy language that you can take away from that video and then you can use it on your own. That way you are not relying on something external, something outside of yourself like relaxing music or the sound of the meditation voice. It's just you using your own skill. Another one of my favorites is a mantra meditation or a short phrase. I love the abundance meditation. I am grateful for that which I have and I'm grateful for that which is coming. So I like the breath, the mantra, or simply observing my thoughts. Just noting where I'm at that day. To quickly wrap up this video, I do hope that you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this little random chit chat, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss a new video. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others and have a wonderful day. And let me know if you start meditating because I would love to chat with you about it and hear about your experience. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.